Welcome Vault Dwellers, my name is Nacho Bidness. I don't really have relevant footage for the topic, so we're just showing some settlement tours in the background. Let's talk about Mary. She's my character in my ongoing No Loot Challenge Run series. I got a number of comments regarding Mary's background as a survivor of domestic abuse. More than one person has said that they are instantly bothered by having a battered and bruised woman as the star of the show. If I have handled the subject poorly, it was out of ignorance rather than out of disrespect or malice. I recognize that it is a difficult subject for many. However, I do not apologize. I am the type of person who is always asking why. In this case, why would my character refuse to loot? I like to have an in-game justification for what my characters do, even if it is really paper thin, which indeed is the case here. Domestic abuse was the idea that I had, and I ran with it. The idea that Nate is an abuser puts an ominous spin on so many of the voice lines during the start of the game. Especially the interactions with the vault rep, who looks so clearly uncomfortable. A great suggestion in a comment was that she was the child of hoarders and is very reluctant to bring stuff home, especially junk. In hindsight, if I'd had that idea, I probably would have run with it. It's far less controversial, and I'm really not here to be controversial. I'm very lucky that I grew up in a nuclear family with two parents who are both still alive and in love. And I'm keenly aware that my good fortune means that I have no idea what it's like to actually live in that situation. But I hope I can handle the topic with some amount of sensitivity. Domestic violence is a real and tragic situation. And not everyone who survives the apocalypse is going to come from a happy family. For someone trapped in the cycle of abuse, the death of their spouse, in a way, may set them free. Mary's external bruises will heal over time. We have surgery chairs in settlements and at Diamond City to change character appearance. But her emotional scars will remain. Indeed, Mary's situation is going to get much worse before it gets better. She has lived through domestic violence and the end of the world, but her journey is just beginning and not everyone she encounters will be what they seem. But Mary's story will include an element of redemption and rising above her circumstances. She is a better person than her abusers, achingly so but it will take time for her strength to shine. So even though you may find Mary's backstory uncomfortable, I hope you'll stick with me. I'm not on YouTube to try and solve the problems of the world. I'm just here to try and entertain. If the backstory bothers you, be assured that it will become less important as the run continues. I hope you'll still join me for the exercise of trying to complete the game without looting. Thanks for watching.